So this is absolutely true. Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway actually invested in a Ponzi scam. This is not a clickbait. And if you stay with me, I'm going to tell you all the juicy details of what really transpired as of today, which is in May 2019 of how Berkshire Hathaway actually invested in a Ponzi type solar scheme. Now, no, just going to jump right into this and look at my screen over here. Now, this is actually not a fake news. This is a news by Bloomberg.com. And it say that Berkshire takes tax hit as victim of Ponzi type solar scheme, right? So they do not, of course, do not exit intentionally invested in a Ponzi type solar scheme, but it's just that they accidentally invested into this. And why does this happen, right? So let's look at the news by Bloomberg over here. It said Berkshire Hathaway thinks it was duped, cheated. And it said Warren Buffett company took a 377 million charge. What do you mean by that? After investing hundreds of millions into a tax equity investment fund. Now, I the thing is, I before I actually even read this, I don't even know what is a tax equity investment fund. I mean, come on, I don't know everything, right? And we just have to be humble, right? And not claim that we know everything. Now, by the way, tax equity. Uh, they say it's a tax equity is very low risk means of investing into solar projects using a financing approach called project finance blah blah blah, blah. so what's what this about so just go and click in and show you what is this tax equity all right so it said that there's a lot of this solar project in the US so tax equity investment uh, returns are based on a combination of cash flow from project. Of course, when you invest in thing, you expect some cash flow. In this sense, it's a solar project. And the federal tax benefit, what is mean, attract credits and tax deduction. So just to, to put it in a very easy sense is that because, you know, government may have some policies to say that there are certain projects that they encourage if the investor invests into it, they can get so-called tax credit. Now, tax credit is some sort of tax deduction, but it's a credit because when you, uh, I mean, for lack of a better term, when you really need to actually pay tax, right, actually pay tax on your income and whatnot, so you need to pay like, uh, uh, let's say 100,000 of tax in a year. But tax credit meaning that you accumulate a tax credit by doing something beneficial, which is, you know, that is uh, granted that government or the policy or the tax man can you, uh, grant you tax credit. So a tax credit that we you have that is granted to you, and basically you need to pay 100,000 uh, of dollars or whatnot the tax. With this tax credit, it can offset the tax that you need to pay. So in the end, you actually pay nothing. So this is a very simple example, right? So this is what it means. It says that Berkshire Hathaway, they uh, took a 377 million charge because they already invested in some uh, scheme, what is called tax uh, equity investment, which means that they are being granted tax credit, which they use it to pay less tax previously before quarter one 2019. But the thing is, now it turns out that this thing was a scam, was a Ponzi scheme. So that the tax credit that was granted uh, to Berkshire Hathaway uh, in the beginning, I mean previously, now they have to, you know, reverse that and, you know, whatever they should have paid in tax, they are now paying that now, which is what they think. They took a hit, uh, 377 million charge of uh, thing. Now, what is this detail? I want to walk you through the detail. They say in December, da 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 da, and the first quarter, we learn of uh, federal authority. So, this is, this, uh, this, uh, this exact, exact thing is basically, uh, drawn or quoted, cited from its quarter one annual report. And how do we actually look at that now? If you can look at what I'm seeing over here, this is Berkshire Hathaway official homepage. And if you look at this annual interim report, and then you look at this 2019 first quarter report, you look at this report in PDF. And then I just want to jump to the section because I know where it is with the word allegations. Um, they say, the income tax tax expense adjustment relates to investment that we made. I'm just going to actually uh, maximize it here. The income tax expense adjustment relates to investment that we made between 2015 and 2018 in certain tax equity investment fund. Our investment in this fund aggregated approximately 340 million 
which is more than 1 billion in Ringgit Malaysia, right? And in December of 2018 and during the first quarter of 2019, we learned the allegation by Federal Authority of Fraudulent Income Conduct by sponsor of this fund. As a result of our investigation into this allegation, we now believe it is more likely than not the income tax benefit we recognize are not valid. So, and then you have to look at here to say that in first quarter of 2019, they actually have to, you know, these are the extra expense income tax expense adjustment so this was the tax credit granted to Berkshire Hathaway which has been uh, accrued but now is reversed so this is a juicy story just can come back to this news by Bloomberg um, so what happened is that the companies including da, 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 also say they've been hurt so it's Berkshire Hathaway is not the only company that's been hurt uh, by this tech related investment including DC Solar which allegedly promoted its ability to provide very favorable tech consequences law enforcement official search a business tied to the case in December and alleged a Ponzi type investment fraud scheme scheme so efforts to reach the DC Solar which filed for bankruptcy earlier this year which is early in 2019 were unsuccessful uh, so the attorney says that uh, he do doesn't believe the Ponzi scheme but the thing is for Berkshire, more than 1 billion Malaysian ringgit it put into a tax equity investment fund are relatively small to its 119 billion stock portfolio, right? I mean small, but yet still, this is a huge money for, for, for any funds or any investment from Malaysian perspective. So, uh, just more juicy story over here. This is by the New York, New York Post, right? And this is dated in May 10, 2019. The man, okay, the title is Warren. Buffett, Warren, Buffett, Warren Buffett Berkshire Hathaway duped by Ponzi type scheme. The man behind the alleged, alleged Ponzi type scheme accused of bilking Warren Buffett Berkshire Hathaway out of 340 million was a NASCAR sponsor who partied with Pitbull and da 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 da. Now, this Pitbull doesn't mean your. It does not mean Pitbull. It doesn't mean Pitbull as in the dog, right? It doesn't mean the dog. Pitbull is just a popular name for a singer, an American rapper. Okay, so when you know that um, for any investment fund, the fund manager or the company owner was partying with celebrity and all that, you know, and that is uh, really a red flag. And you know that a company owner that own more than 150 cars, that is equivalent to the Malaysian Prime Minister, which owns like so many cars, which is now under police custody or uh, whatnot anyway so you see that jeff go da, 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 jeff kapoff da, 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 live a lavish lifestyle before fbi raided his and his wife home and this is our office in december right among the treasure now in the federal in the government possession include a car collection totally 157 cars including three bentley ford Dodge Rams and you know all the cars also seized were the ticket okay and a stash of jewelry diamond necklace more than six thousand prior to the raid okay they are big I mean I mean they are popular right and these companies are popular and doesn't mean they're popular doesn't mean that you are uh, you, you could be legit so that's the thing right so you have to look at the last time what's the motivation for doing this if the motivation of a business or company is actually for themselves then that is again there's a red flag doesn't mean that necess necessarily is a ponzi scam but again there's a red flag right uh and then recently even higher singer put blue to perform at a company and no christmas party according to the da, 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 da. they were sponsor according to what okay on wednesday the oracle of o omaha which is uh berkshire hathaway 700 billion investment fund we really took a 377 billion tie chart so which is what uh if we were to tie it back over here right three hundred seventy seven over here so they have to pay this kind of expense out as a you know as an invalid tax credit that was granted to berkshire hathaway because they actually invested in this which dc solar is a company supposed to give them tax credit but it turns out to be a scam or a ponzi uh, scheme so it said that in whether value da, 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 various conduct we now believe the tax benefit is not valid right and that is it but FBI agent you can reflect that uh the if anything the couple so actually it's not really clear it's not confirmed it's a ponzi scheme right now but an fbi agent said this is all i appear to have operated in a way that have reflected the evidence of a ponzi type investment fraud scheme according to february affidavit related to bankruptcy proceeding so 
the security com the security and actions commission the sec is like your security commission in malaysia accused dc solar owners by the name of engaging in a ponzi scheme according to a separate court ruling right so that being said this news is true it's by bloomberg by new york post so yes so even the lesson we learned over here that even uh world class level berkshire hathaway with all its smart investors smart fund managers smart uh, 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 uh Warren Buffett himself is like more than eight decades of age with his wisdom still they can be duped into investing in this ponzi type scheme so what about you as an investor that is why you know just you have sometimes you just have to one is use common sense uh second you just have to you know keep things simple k-i-s-s -S, keep things simple stupid right look for something you know non fancy things something that generates a cash flow yield and all that and one of the best way is actually uh, an asset class that we believe very much anywhere in the world is called REIT R -E -I -T, real asset investment trust you can actually check out actually uh, upcoming webinar of how to invest in REIT and all that down below REIT method.com right i mean of course you can just not to check out that that's fine the purpose of this video is to say that just be aware of something that was packaged in a way that even the best fund manager the best investor can be duped into investing into it and it can turn out to be a ponzi scheme when sometimes things i'm not talking about this one but when you hear things that's too good to be true then just be very very wary of it so that being said this is uh cf liu uh you know subscribe hit on the notification bell uh click on subscribe if you have any comments leave a comment below so i will actually see you in uh, the next uh video or the next lesson so i'm signing off you have a good day you have a good week ahead